everyone, Canary Green here and today we are visiting Eater. I have with me Irina who will explain a little bit what they are doing. Hello everyone, we are here to introduce to you the CIFUEL project where we try to uh, integrate renewable fuels as hydrogen, green hydrogen, into their local transportation. What we're trying to do is use um, solar power, wind power, okay, natural powers to um, take the water, the sea water, okay, not just what, any water, the sea water, and uh, obtain green hydrogen from there. One of the main points or new points of this project compared with all the projects and all the users of hydrogen um, that are run by now in Spain and in all the countries, it's uh, the fact that we are using seawater and clean energies. So it's zero emissions on the production of the hydrogen and it's zero emissions as well of the cars. That is awesome. So rental cars and public transportation, they all could run on sea fuel, which has zero emissions. So this is a little uh, model of what we're going to set up here in Eater. This is the hydrogen production plant. It will get uh, seawater in and break it. So we obtain the green um, hydrogen because remember the energy comes from clean sources, okay, solar and wind. And here is also linked to the fueling dispenser for the cars. Hydrogen goes here, the here, and the oxygen goes here, and we separate it. Okay, then the hydrogen gets com compressed, and when you come with your car and fuel it up, it goes into the tank. All right, so what is the main difference between an electric car and a hydrogen fueled car? Well, one of the big difference between them is the battery. The hydrogen car does not need the battery, which is a very polluting part of a car. Um, and it basically what ha happens is what you need is a tank to install, to have the hydrogen compressed. When the hydrogen gets released, when you start the car, it goes together with the oxygen naturally, and that's a, a reaction that releases energy. Like when you burn something, um, and that's what it powers the, the vehicle. Therefore, you don't need a battery where to have the electricity. So about charging points and charging time, Yeah. what can you tell us about that? Well, I can tell you that it's going to be fantastic because if you compare it with diesel or petrol and with electrical, it's almost as quick as diesel or petrol and it's not as long as electrical. It takes around maybe five, seven minutes to charge the fully the tank, which is really quick. When all of this is more settled and gone big stream, the idea is to reach down to a price of two euros per kilo. Okay, and uh, out of one kilo, you get between 100 and 200 kilometers of a running car. So basically, you're paying two euros for between 100 and 200 kilometers of driving. We're really expecting to have their full. A pilot plant and the hydrogen cars running here by probably the end of February next year. This is true green energy and it's basically the answer to our prayers. So please everyone, demand it, support it, share it, subscribe to our newsletters, we keep you in the loop. And uh, this is just truly amazing. And I mean, if we grow the demand, we will get a reaction like this is definitely definitely gonna yeah. be the future